Hi, Daniel with DanielParsonsMinistry.com. Today's Life Journal Bible reading plan is for the 25th of January. We're going to cover in the Old Testament, Exodus chapters 12 and 13, Psalms 21, and the New Testament, Acts chapter 1. The New King James Version of the Bible, Exodus 12. The Passover instituted. Now the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be your beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak to all the congregation of Israel, saying, On the tenth of this month, every man shall take for himself a lamb, according to the house of his father, a lamb for a household. And if the household is too small for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next to his house take it according to the number of the persons. According to each man's need, you shall make your count for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. You may take it from the sheep or from the goats. Now you shall keep it until the fourteenth day of the same month. Then the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it at twilight. And they shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and on the lintel of the houses where they eat it. Then they shall eat the flesh of, on that night, roasted in fire with unleavened bread and with bitter herbs. They shall eat it. Do not eat it raw, nor boil it all with water, but roast it in fire, its head with its legs and its entrails. You shall let none of it remain until morning, and what remains of it until morning you shall burn with fire. And thus you shall eat it with a belt on your waist, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand. So you shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt on that night, and will strike all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. Now the blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. So this day shall be to you a memorial, and you shall keep it as a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. You shall keep it as a feast by an everlasting ordinance. In seven days you shall eat unleavened bread. On the first day you shall remove leaven from your houses. For whoever eats leavened bread from the first day until the seventh day, that person shall be cut off from Israel. On the first day there shall be a holy convocation, and on the seventh day there shall be a holy convocation for you. No manner of work shall be done on them, but that which every one must eat, that only may be prepared by you. So you shall observe the Feast of Unleavened Bread, for on this same day I will have brought you your armies out of the land of Egypt. Therefore you shall observe this day throughout your generations as an everlasting ordinance in the first month on the fourteenth day of the month at evening. You shall eat unleavened bread until the twenty-first day of the month at evening. For seven days no leaven shall be found in your houses, since whoever eats what is leavened, that same person shall be cut off from the congregation of Israel, whether he is a stranger or a native of the land. You shall eat nothing leavened, in all your dwellings you shall eat unleavened bread. Then Moses called for the elders of Israel and said to them, Pick out and take lambs for yourselves according to your families, and kill the Passover lamb. And you shall take a bunch of hyssop, Dip it in the blood as it is in the basin, and strike the lentil and the two doorposts with the blood that is in the basin. And none of you shall go out of the door of his house until morning. For the Lord will pass through to strike the Egyptians. And when he sees the blood on the lentil and on the two doorposts, the Lord will pass over the door and not allow the destroyer to come into your houses to strike you. And you shall observe this thing as an ordinance for you and your sons forever. It will come to pass when you come to the land which the Lord will give you, just as he promised, that you shall keep this service. And it shall be when your children say to you, what do you mean by this service? That you shall say, it is the Passover sacrifice of the Lord, who passed over the houses of the children of Israel in Egypt, when he struck the Egyptians and delivered our households. So the people bowed their heads in worship. Then the children of Israel went away and did so, just as the Lord had commanded Moses and Aaron, so they did. The tenth plague, death of the firstborn. And it came to pass at midnight that the Lord struck all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh, who sat on his throne, to the firstborn of the captive, who was in the dungeon, and all the firstborn of livestock. So Pharaoh arose in the night, he and all his servants, and all the Egyptians, and there was a great cry in Egypt. For there was not a house where there was not one dead. 
the Exodus. Then he called for Moses and Aaron by night and said, Rise, go out from among my people, both you and the children of Israel, and go, serve the Lord as you have said. Also take your flocks and your herds as you have said, and be gone, and bless me also. And the Egyptians urged the people that they might send them out of the land in haste, for they said, We shall all be dead. So the people took their dough before it was leavened, having their kneading bowls bound up in their clothes on their shoulders. Now the children of Israel had done according to the word of Moses, and they had asked from the Egyptians articles of silver, articles of gold, and clothing, and the Lord had given the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, so that they granted them what they requested, as they plundered the Egyptians. Then the children of Israel journeyed from Ramesses to Sukkoth, about 600,000 men on foot besides children, a mixed multitude went up with them also, in flocks and herds, a great deal of livestock. And they baked unleavened cakes of the dough, which they had brought out of Egypt, for it was not leavened, because they were driven out of Egypt and could not wait, nor had they prepared provisions for themselves. Now the sojourn of the children of Israel who lived in Egypt was 430 years. And it came to pass at the end of the 430 years, on that very same day, it came to pass that all the armies of the Lord went out from the land of Egypt. It is a night of solemn observance to the Lord for bringing them out of the land of Egypt. This is that night of the Lord, a solemn observance for all the children of Israel throughout their generations. Passover regulations, and the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, this is the ordinance of the Passover. No foreigner shall eat it, but every man's servant who is bought for money, when you have circumcised him, then he may eat it. Excuse me. A sojourner and a hired servant shall not eat it. In one house it shall be eaten. You shall not carry any of the flesh outside the house, nor shall you break one of its bones. All the congregation of Israel shall keep it. When a stranger dwells with you and wants to keep the Passover to the Lord, let all his males be circumcised, and then let him come near and keep it. And he shall be as a native of the land, for no uncircumcised person shall eat it. One law shall be for the native born and for the stranger who dwells among you. Thus all the children of Israel did as the Lord commanded Moses and Aaron, so they did. And it came to pass on that very same day that the Lord brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt according to their armies. So now as I'm pulling up Exodus 13, we go through the Old Testament scriptures once in a year's time and the New Testament scriptures twice in a year's time. Exodus 13, the firstborn consecrated. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Consecrate to me all the firstborn, whatever opens a womb among the children of Israel, both of man and beast, it is mine. The feast of unleavened bread. And Moses said to the people, Remember this day in which you went out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. For by strength of hand the Lord brought you out of this place. No leavened bread shall you be eaten. On this day you are going out in the month of Ab Abib. And it shall be when the Lord brings you into the land of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, which he swore to your fathers to give you a land flowing with milk and honey. Then you shall keep this service in this month. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread. And on the seventh day there shall be a feast to the Lord. Unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days and no leavened bread shall be seen among you nor shall leaven be seen among you in all your quarters. And you shall tell your son in that day, saying, This is done because of what the Lord did for me when I came up from Egypt. And it shall be as a sign to you on your hand and as a memorial between your eyes, that the Lord's law may be in your mouth. For with a strong hand the Lord has brought you out of Egypt. You shall therefore keep this ordinance in its season from year to year. The law of the firstborn. And it shall be when the Lord brings you into the land of the Canaanites as we swore he swore to you and your fathers and gives it to you that you shall set apart to the Lord all that open the womb, that is, every firstborn that comes from an animal which you have. The male shall be the Lord's, but every firstborn of a donkey you shall redeem with a lamb. And if you will not redeem it, then you shall break its neck. And all the firstborn of man among your sons you shall redeem. So it shall be when your son asks you in time to come, saying, What is this? that you shall say to him, by strength of hand, the Lord brought us out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. And it came to pass when Pharaoh was stubborn about letting us go, that the Lord killed all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of beast. 
Therefore I sacrifice to the Lord all males that open the womb, but all the firstborn of my sons I redeem. It shall be as a sign on your hand and as frontlets between your eyes, for by strength of hand the Lord brought us out of Egypt. And then it came to pass, the wilderness way, and then it came to pass when Pharaoh had let the people go, that God did not lead them by way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, lest perhaps the people change their minds when they see war and return to Egypt. So God led the people around by way of the wilderness of the Red Sea. And the children of Israel went up in orderly ranks out of the land of Egypt. And Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, for he had placed the children of Israel under solemn oath, saying, God will surely visit you, and you shall carry up my bones from here with you. So they took their journey from Sukkoth and camped in Etham at the edge of the wilderness. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, so as to go by day and night. He did not take away the pillar of cloud by day or the pillar of fire by night from before the people. So now I'm pulling up Psalm 21. And as I'm doing that, we've got hundreds of spiritual messages at danielparsonsministry.com. And um, my wife, Patricia, is a gourmet chef. And so she's got hundreds of really delicious vegan recipes. And you can find those on the Healthy Living tab at danielparsonsministry.com. Please uh, leave comments on your favorite recipes. We appreciate that. Psalm 21, joy in the salvation of the Lord. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. The king shall have joy in your strength, O Lord, and in your salvation. How greatly shall he rejoice. You have given him his heart's desire and have not withheld the request of his lips. Selah. For you meet him with the blessings of goodness. You set a crown of pure gold on his head. He asked life from you, and you gave it to him. Length of days forever and ever. His glory is great in your salvation. Honor and majesty you have placed upon him. For you have made him most blessed forever. You have made him exceedingly glad with your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. And your hand will find all your enemies. Your right hand will find those who hate you. You shall make them as a fiery oven in the time of your anger. The Lord shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their offspring you shall destroy from the earth, and their descendants from among the sons of men, for they intended evil against you. They devised a plot which they are not able to perform. Therefore you will make them turn their back. You will make ready your arrows on your string toward their faces. Be exalted, O Lord, in your own strength. We will sing and praise your power. Now as I pull up Acts chapter 1, which is our New Testament scripture for today, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just search for Daniel Parsons Ministry on YouTube. And I appreciate the, your patronage. Uh, Acts 1 Prologue. The former account I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up. After he, through the Holy Spirit, had given commandments to the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom he also presented himself alive after his suffering by many infallible proofs, being seen by them during 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God, the Holy Spirit promised. And being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, you have heard from me, for John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And he said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria to the end of the earth. Jesus ascends to heaven. Now when he had spoken these things while they watched, he was taken up, and the cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, who also said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will so come in like manner as you saw him go into heaven. The upper room prayer meeting. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem. 
a Sabbath day journey. And when they had entered, they went up into the upper room where they were staying. Peter, James, John, and Andrew, Philip, and Thomas, Bartholomew, and Matthew, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon, the zealot, and Judas, the son of James. These all continued with one accord in prayer, a supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. Matthias chosen. And in those days, Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples altogether. The number of names was about 120. And said, men and brethren, this scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke before by the mouth of David concerning Judas, who became a guide to those who arrested Jesus, for he was numbered with us and obtained a part in this ministry. Now this man purchased a field with the wages of iniquity, and falling headlong, he burst open in the middle, and all his entrails gushed out, and it came, came, became known to all those dwelling in Jerusalem, so that field is called in their own language, Akel Dama that is field of blood, for it is written in the book of Psalms, let his dwelling place be desolate, and let no one live in it, and let another take his office. Therefore, of these men who have accompanied us, us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John to that day when he was taken up from us, one of these must become a witness with us of his resurrection. And they proposed to Joseph called Barsabbas, who was surnamed Justice and Matthias, and they prayed and said, You, O Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which of these two you have chosen to take part in this ministry and apostleship from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place, and they cast their lots, and their lot fell on Matthias. And he was numbered with the eleven apostles. So that's the end of today's Bible reading, my friend. God bless you until we meet again. Bye for now.